Good afternoon and welcome to video two of day two. I thought I would do a little show and tell. Today I am going to show you one of my sewing cases. This is the sewing box, work box, that I take with me to most events that would be a, a full weekend event where I would be inside of a house or inside of a shop. So when I do my millinery shop at the Genesee Country Museum, this is the box that I bring with me. Um, I have other boxes, smaller ones, that I use for smaller single day demonstrations or events. So this box, like I said, is a work box. It is original. Um, I don't know what the wood is, but it does have some basic mother of pearl inlay. There is some damage that you can see, but I did find it for only $20 or $25 at one of the local antique shops. So it was a good piece I could bring, I can use, and I don't have to worry about damaging. When I found it, the inside was completely gutted. So I ended up relining it and making a tray using uh, this marbleized paper from a gentleman in uh, the Niagara Falls area. Okay, so these are the tools that I, I like to bring because um, I think I might use them. All right, so of course, we have pairs of scissors. Okay. You're gonna notice I have some little tags on some of these. It reminds me if it's an original piece or a reproduction piece. Okay. So these, these are vintage scissors but these, I believe, are the reproduction scissors. See, the tag fell off, so I don't know for sure. Okay. Of course, I have spools of thread. Uh, these are my favorite Guterman threads, but redone on wooden spools. Sometimes I will double up two color threads on a single spool. Of course, I have some wax. There's a couple different waxes there. I have to slow down because it's not focusing. Okay, and of course we all need needles. And I'll either carry my needles this way or in a needle book, which I don't have in this upper tray. That's kind of funny. Okay, so after needles most people want pins, of course. This is one of my pin cushions. Okay, so this is a paisley wool, over wool. And another favorite of mine is this one. This one has a silver band. This is the most unorganized my needles and pins usually are. I tend to organize them. Um, okay, a bodkin. So I use bodkins quite a bit. Is that gonna focus? This is just a vintage bodkin. My antique bodkins tend to disappear. Um, I did want to bring this out because this is a modern bodkin, but you can see better what it's used for. It's used for threading. So you could put a cord through um, a bonnet, a sunbonnet, if you're working on a sunbonnet. Okay. Um, of course, we have an assortment of buttons. Naughty, they're all loose. Um, my version of tape measures. So these are all inked by hand. I do not have a good reproduction one yet. It's on my wish list. Okay, so this is a mother of pearl handled awl. Okay, this one's considered an awl because it has a handle. Okay. Some people call it a stiletto. Um, okay, so this is not technically a period piece, but I know we all use it a lot. So I sunk a modern seam ripper into a mother of pearl handle, and I can hide that pretty well during events. Another bodkin. All right, so something I use sewing for sewing that isn't a sewing item. Uh, these are hairpins. I tend to use hairpins to tuck things as I sew them. Uh, let's see, over here. 
So this is a, okay, this is a reproduction bodkin. Okay, a little hole there. This is good for threading. This will also work as an awl. And we can compare that to this one. Okay, which is just an awl or a stiletto bone. Uh, this is actually technically a broken crochet hook, but I find these long, narrow, pointy pieces very helpful. Regular crochet hook. Pencil. There's several more crochet hooks down in there. I did pencil. Okay, so straight edge. Uh, this side is inches. This side is nails. Okay. And I'm realizing I have another measure under there, but I think it's stuck. So let's take the tray out. There are a couple modern things hiding under here. So let's get those out of the way. Pencil sharpener, because there are days that I don't trust myself with a knife. I always find it useful to have some wool roving, batting. I end up using it. More thread. A naughty modern packet of needles. Two lavender wands, which I made these a few years ago, still smell beautifully. And because inevitably somebody asks, I do have a copy of the original from Field to Fashion. Uh, this is the shorter version. Oh, I just slipped. <laughs> okay, so this is the original version. This is what's on my Etsy shop digitally. Um, and it is the shorter version of what I am working on. <laughs> and I think that's the first time I've said this publicly. <laughs> Um, yes, I am working on what will either be a revised version of From Field to Fashion or a completely new straw focused research piece. I will include um, the original research, updated research, and some more hands on pieces, um, visual pieces. It's going to be a little while because I still have the, the hood piece to work on as well. Okay, uh, what else is down in here? Eh, thread scraps and other junk. Um, this tends to be a little bit of a catch-all, especially at events. Um, it is very useful. Usually I have a little notebook in here uh, that accompanies the pencil, of course. Um, oh, little tiny frame. I still haven't put anything in there. Let's see, put these all back in. This tends to get pretty disorganized during events. Um, and then of course I'm so tired when I get home. Don't put that in here, that's my only one. Uh, I don't always get around to neatening it back up, which is my mistake. And I really should. Because you see that over here. Oh, this little piece of paper here, I'm not gonna pull it out because it's gonna expand, is actually, um, from a roll of ribbon. When it's in nicer shape, I tend to save it. Uh, where do you go? Let's see, I don't even remember where I put things. Honestly, having this large case um, has become kind of a sanity keeper at some events. I can just grab it and go, and it almost always has everything I need unless I oops and didn't replenish it. I know I should, I just realized I didn't put things in the bottom. I know I should promote um, the pieces from Fanciful Utility uh, as the absolute everyone needs a go-to, but the reality is, is not everyone needs the same size sewing case. Sometimes you need a larger case, sometimes you need a smaller case. Sometimes you need a piece that's stationary, sometimes you need a piece that's more mobile. So you really need to pick uh, what's appropriate for you. Okay, so there's my sewing case. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and have a good evening. Bye everyone.